What's up YouTubers, it's your boy LB, I hope you are doing well. In this video I just want to show you how to create this green screen VFX inside the Premiere Pro. In the last video I made levitation effect, yes, I made it in Adobe After Effects. It shows how to track your subject because the camera was moving, yes, I remember the camera was on the gimbal. In this video the camera is on a tripod, that's the different. I showed two different videos, the first one is the green screen videos. The second one is the background. I put my camera on tripod and then I try to show the background. The camera was looking up and I try to move slow by slow to down. So now let's jump on Premiere Pro and let's see how it is. Alright, yes guys, this is my video clip which I'm going to use. So now I'm going to find the good frame moving well by using mark in and mark out and then have to add mark out here and then have to drag video only and then put it here on this timeline and let me find the second clip here on a green screen so i have to double click here on it and then i have already mark in and mark out so this is perfect and i have to drag this video no i just want video only without audio so i have to click here and then I drag this video only. So now you have to put it on the top of this background. Then come here on effect control. I'm going to use this free draw bezel by masking this green screen. So I have to mask this green screen. So click here on fit to zoom it well because I just want to mark well this subject better as possible. So you have to zoom it well and then you have to mask this subject only. As you see I just I don't want this chair because I just want the human only. So now back here on fit and then mask this remains one. Guys, after masking this subject, just click here on it and then come here on effect. Search effect called the ultra key. This one is gonna help me to remove this green screen. You put it here on this footage clip. So now I click here on fit and then I just want to zoom this video because I just want to remove this mask feather here on the green screen click here on this clip and then remove this mask feather as you see here this i have the thin line on this green screen okay so now back here on fit and then come here on your track key settings click on this icon then press on green color already you guys you see the green screen is already removed and then i click here on the compose choose alpha channel and then open up this mate generation i just want to balance it this high right transparency shadow tolerance and pedestal for removing well this green screen you have to balance it well good as possible just the subject must be white and then if the green screen is removed well this green must be black like this one okay so now I have to zoom it again and I just want to see some details, okay, here on my subject. If the green is removed well. So you have to try your best, okay. Guys, remember that if you set your green screen in a bad way, it can't work, guys. So you have to set your green screen well. Make sure the writing is okay. Yeah, uh, just something like that, okay? This is how it is. And then I have to remove some details here on my subject, okay? As you see here, there is some change which is happening to my clip. Okay. 
okay you have to balance those five effect so and open up this mate clean up and then you have to increase this soften you see how the change comes into my clip okay and then increase this chalk yeah it is very helpful and then back on fit guys you see this is how my subject it is okay let me move up here on scale i have to reduce the pen what kind of composition do you want okay Uh, to reduce okay this is better so when I play you see there is something on my trousers on my pant so and I have to remove some this stuff okay so back here on ultra key settings guys I told you if you set a green screen but <laughs> don't set this green screen like me because okay so you have to set it well better as possible so you have to keep balancing it well in order your subject to be good yeah to have the good look okay so let me mask this green yes this is better okay let me increase this transparency yeah Maybe this is dope one, okay? Let click on this clip, click on the speed, duration, and then I just want to reduce the speed of this subject and then choose this optical flow and then press OK. I just want my subject to go in slow motion. Man, this is better, this is cool. Okay, so when I play, you see, when I play this clip, you see how it is, and this background is moving down. Yeah, so I have to zoom this background. Okay, have to zoom like a little bit. You see, my subject is firing down. Is going with background man. This is better. Yes. And then go here and effect and then such effect called Gaussian blur. This Gaussian blur is gonna help my background to add some blurness. Just let me call it focus something like that, okay? So let me zoom it another little bit. Okay. And they have to add some the small blurness. Yeah just add some blurness on my background yeah like this okay just to zoom this clip okay so I have to remove this this area here on my <laughs> on my trousers okay so I have to move I have to use this mask and then just I have to mask it with like this okay you have to check all details on this effect guys okay in order to be looking good yes so back on fit okay you see, all stuff is going well. This stuff is better. So, and add keyframe here on the position for the, the beginning of this background. And then I have to add the first keyframe on the beginning. And then I have to add the last frame. And then you bring it, this background up. So when you play, you will see the real move of this background comes from up to down okay so is this keyframe doing that's great so now i'm going to create an adjustment layer for adding some bars or just clop to have the look like cinematic okay 
So go and affect such the effect called the crop. Then put it here on this adjustment layer. Here on the top I have to add 10. And then add 10 here on the bottom. Yeah, you see this buzz how it is. So I can add some a little bit 15. And then 15 here too. Top and the bottom must be equal. Yeah, it must have the same number. Make sure that, okay? Yeah, this is perfect, guys. So, and this is how you can create this cinematic floating or levitate VFX green screen on Premiere Pro. Guys, if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and drop your comment down below. I just want to know what you think. And as always, stay creative. Peace.